Uh, good afternoon to our viewers. Uh, it is uh, a privilege to be one of the uh, administrators of the Philippine College of Health Sciences. She is the registrar of the very uh, well-known uh, college in Manila. Her name is Dr. Asosena Cordero Sabado. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, um, before we go, um, I would like you to introduce yourself briefly. What are your involvements in the school and your family? And if you feel you want to share your your humble beginnings, feel free to do that, ma'am. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh -huh. from Narbakan, Ilocosor. I am, uh, at the same time, I'm the regist school register of Philippine College of Health Sciences. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, Madam uh, Cordero Sabado, is very instrumental in our forthcoming medical mission in in her hometown, Narbacan, Ilocosur. This will take place tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Now, um, that's why earlier uh, we were doing repacking of medicines, not only earlier, but the last couple of days. We've been repacking medicines to the volunteer work of the, the staff of the, uh, uh, you may want to uh, get some video of our staff from Philippine College uh, of Health Sciences. So, uh, last minute repacking. Now, uh, uh, since we are also introducing the graduate online program in Christian Holistic Health, there is a possibility that uh, the Philippine College of Health Sciences, we, we adopt this curriculum, this graduate program, because uh, I understand now you are also uh, offering not only undergraduate courses in nursing, but you also have a master's program. What are your master's program in you? Uh, master of Arts in Nursing, uh, Master of Arts in Education, uh, Master's in Public Administration, uh, doctor of uh, education and doctor of philosophy. And uh, through uh, Madame Cordero Sabado, she will be introducing to me later on the president and the founder of the college. Uh, would you mention his name, ma'am? Uh, Dr. George C. Cordero. So I will have a chance to meet him him tonight a uh, few hours before we will leave for our medical mission and in closing i am very proud to introduce this book soul rape recovering personhood after abuse written by a dear friend my mentor my boss at the holy catholic church international and the saint james the elder theological seminary he is a psychotherapist, a psychologist, more than 37 years of psychotherapy experience. Uh, Dr. Heward, Bruce Heward. And I am supporting and the, uh, the promotion of the book, especially so that I was requested to write in the first part of the preface of the book. Now, in the middle section of the book, he also mentioned about Philippines as a special population. Now the book talks about abuse, all forms of abuse, physical, sexual, verbal, psychological abuse, domestic abuse, abuse of the elderly. Uh, now, being an educator yourself, I think you have encountered cases of abuse in the workplace and maybe in the school. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, you will make use of this book as you deal with these problems in school. And if you really uh, spend time reading this book, you will feel confident that there is hope. There is hope, there is the right way to treat an abused person. 
and how you can detect also people who are potentially who have the people who have the potential to be an abuser. And there is a section here that recommends um, like a checklist of a dangerous student, meaning to say a student that has the potential to be an abuser. So uh, uh, this is recommended also for law enforcers. So um, I will sign the book on behalf of Father Ewar, and uh, I will make a special dedication for you, ma'am. And hopefully you will share this book to the rest of your faculty and staff, to your students. But those who would like to have their own personal copies can order this online. Google search Amazon.com, www.amazon.com, and then you can look for Soul Ring. Actually, this is the second book of Father Ewart. The first one is Am I Bad? So this is a sequel of the first book. Very useful for our guidance counselors, health counselors, religious people also. A very good reference material. And I will send this book now. And once again, may God bless all of us as we conduct the medical mission tomorrow. For the next two days, starting like Saturday and Sunday in Narvacan, in Locosul. Thank you and may God bless all of us.